What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your Xbox One is not reading discs. Let's get right into this. First thing you're going to want to do is to check the disc for any dirt or scratches. Fingerprints, dirt, and scratches can affect a game being played. Now usually light scratches won't affect a game, but deeper scratches might. If your game does have a lot of scratches, then I would try inserting a different game into your Xbox and see if that does work for you. If a different game does work, then the other game is likely too damaged to work in your Xbox anymore. Now if your disc is clean and it has no scratches but it still is not working in your Xbox One, then the next thing to try is to do a hard power cycle and this is actually really easy to do. To do this, you're going to hold the power button for 10 seconds to shut down. Once the console is completely shut down, you're going to press the power button on the console to turn it on and then try inserting a disc to see if it will work. Now if you do have your Xbox One standing up vertically, then I would recommend try placing it horizontal and inserting a disc and seeing if that does work for you. The Xbox One is actually not designed to be placed vertically. And the last thing that you can try is to reset your Xbox. To do this, you're going to press the Xbox button on the home screen. Now unfortunately if that didn't work for you, the last thing that you can do is to reset your Xbox One. Now there's two ways to do this. The first one, you're not going to lose anything, but if that doesn't work, the last step is to completely wipe out the Xbox One. So to do this, first you're going to press the Xbox button on the home screen to open the guide. Next you're going to go into settings, then you're going to select all settings. Next, you're going to select System, and then you're going to click on Console Info and Updates. Then you're going to click Reset Console. On the Reset Your Console screen, you're going to select Reset and Keep My Games and Apps. This will delete any corrupt data on the Xbox, but you won't lose any save files. It'll keep all of your personal stuff. It basically just erase anything that is corrupt. Once it is finished that step, then you're going to turn on your Xbox One. You're going to try inserting a disc and see if it will work once again. Now, unfortunately, if that didn't work, the only thing left is to do a full factory reset, which you will lose everything. So it is recommended before doing this step to back everything up before continuing. To do a factory reset, you're going to go through all of the previous steps that I did mention. And whenever you get to the reset your console screen, this time you're going to select reset and remove everything. Once again, this will erase everything from your Xbox One. So make sure it is backed up. And once it is finished doing a factory reset, sign in and set everything back up and then try inserting a disc to see if that will work for you. Now, hopefully for you, you didn't have to go to the last step in the final resort, which is to do a factory reset. Hopefully one of the other options did work for you. If one of them did work, leave a like and comment on this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.